Hi everybody, my name is Zen Chu and I'm faculty director for MIT's Hacking Medicine Initiative and I'm happy to welcome you to another Jefferson Health Hackathon. We've been lucky to uh, teach Jefferson Health and, uh, and, and witness a number of events and great ideas that have come out of this ecosystem. We pioneered the idea of taking technology hackathons and applying them to the complexities of healthcare and the bigger challenges within healthcare uh, because at MIT, hacking has a long history of meaning clever solutions, and we certainly need more of those in healthcare. Now, digital health, while it's frothy and we just had the big health conference uh, with multiple billion dollar startups. Uh, it's still really early. It still feels like when I moved to Silicon Valley in 1995 uh, in the first waves of the internet. There are many more waves in digital health to come. So now is the best time in the history of medicine to be doing healthcare innovation uh, amid a digital transformation, amid a global re-engineering, uh, an acceleration of uh, of, of digital transformation uh, accelerated by a, a, a pandemic uh, and as hospitals hollow out and we, we try to treat more patients in their homes as they age in place. Connected Communities, the, the theme for, for this event, uh, is, is perfectly in line with all of this where technology can extend and enhance uh, aging in place uh, there are cheaper and ubiquitous wearables and sensors, and those can enable new tech-enabled services. So let me try to impart some of uh, the patterns and ideas that, that we hold to as really principles and, and pillars for hacking medicine. And that is that technology scales medicine, and I'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, but these new technologies also change care models and change the business models of healthcare. And that's where there are gaps that incumbents can't fill and they're not going to adapt fast enough to fill. Uh, they're, they're trapped often in the existing business models of healthcare. And so entrepreneurship is necessary to fill these gaps. It's not just new technologies, but new players, new teams, and new startups that need to fill these gaps. Technology scales medicine. Now, what do we mean by that? Amid doctor and nursing shortages, it's technology that can extend beyond a healthcare professional's two hands, uh, while at the same time accomplishing the triple aim in healthcare and public health, which is to increase quality while at the same time increasing access to those disenfranchised uh, and reducing the variability and costs. But first, you need to go deep on the problems. Don't focus on the technology first. Instead, learn deeply about the problems from the, the perspective of the users and the patients and the key stakeholders. Uh, you're going to have a lot of very experienced experts um, that say that's been done before, no, that's a stupid idea. But within this safe space of a hackathon, say yes to the crazy ideas. Go deeper on the crazier ideas. Try to, try to uh, uh, enlarge those crazy ideas. Uh, and pivot into larger, more painful problems as you learn more about how to apply the technology to that particular healthcare journey. Uh, some helpful tools could be our ha free HackMed uh, toolkits that are just paper-based tools. Uh, and then you can choose the right technology last and apply that to help your, your solution scale. Healthcare is a problem-rich domain. Uh, it's regulated across multiple uh, uh, disease states and specialties. Uh, it's so complex and there are so many metrics that you can choose to improve uh, or so many metrics that you can define success. Uh, so there's space for many competitors and substitutes. So don't worry as much 
about competitors. Just figure out what the right solution should be from your perspective and those of the users that you care about. And that's why so many successful techies gravitate to healthcare. Uh, it's because there's a noble impact. There are giant opportunities. There's giant costs and prices that you can, that you can uh, try to bring down. And there's been decades of underinvestment in technology. You don't need to be a physician or a life science expert to have a medical impact. We need fresh ideas. We need fresh eyes and ears on these problems that are often uh, stretched back to, uh, to our medieval uh, healthcare institutions. So health hackathons can also be a burnout therapy, we've found. And after this pandemic, there's more folks that are just exhausted in healthcare. And so I hope that this event can really be an antidote to that burnout and to help uh, re-energize folks within healthcare. This gathering is only the beginning. There's only so much you can do in the first couple of days, but there's so much you can do in this first couple of days. So have as many collisions as possible. I can't wait to see what ideas and energies come out of this event. Thanks so much and happy to help uh, whomever needs it.